Hey guys, so before I start this video, I would really appreciate it if you guys did check out the video I have down below linked in the description. My girlfriend posted a video on her channel, and it's basically a soccer highlight video. She's one of the best soccer players I know, and she has some really awesome things in that video. And if you want to see who my girlfriend is, her name is Mafer, and uh, she's from Guatemala, and... Um, you guys can see her in that video, so if you guys do check out that video, make sure to leave nice comments and stuff like that, and um, yeah, I'm really interested in seeing your guys' feedback on that video. So with that being said, let's jump into the Pixel Gun video. What's up everyone, Exotic Gaming here, back with another Pixel Gun 3D weapon comparison video. It has been quite some time since the last weapon comparison has been uploaded to my channel, the last one being a comparison between the Exterminator and the Alien Blaster, and I thought today would be the perfect day to finally upload another video to this playlist on my channel. Today's comparison will be between two very interesting weapons in both the Special and the Sniper sections of Pixel Gun 3D, the names of these weapons being the Laser Bouncer and the Laser Bow. Now both of these weapons are some of the most powerful weapons that you can possibly obtain in Pixel Gun 3D and currently are some of my most favorite weapons out there in this game. Going into the shop menu and looking at the stats of these weapons here, we can see that the Laser Bouncer has a 23 efficiency, a 74 firing rate, a 8 capacity, and a 110 mobility. It also has the three special abilities, the Laser Ability, the Ricocheting Ability, and the Piercing Shot Ability. The piercing shot ability basically means that this weapon can take out multiple enemies with one single shot. The bullet, or the laser in this case, will travel directly through the enemy player and hit whoever is behind them. With the ricocheting ability, this weapon can bounce off of multiple walls and kill people in ways that you would have never even thought were possible. Going into the sniper section and looking at the stats of the laser bow, we can see that this weapon has the same three special abilities, and it also has a little bit of a difference in its stats. It has a 22 efficiency, a 79 firing rate, a 1 capacity, and a 120 mobility. Now do not be fooled by that 1 capacity. This weapon for some reason is in the most recent update, one of these weapons where really soft thinks that since it has a interesting firing rate, an interesting setup, it has a 1 capacity, and it never actually needs to reload. Therefore, really soft puts it at a 1 capacity, so it would make a little bit more sense. But actually, this weapon technically has a 13 capacity, because that is the amount that you have when you spawn into the game. But with that being said, guys, let's go jump into a match, and I'll show you guys firsthand some gameplay with both of these weapons. Now, like I had said earlier, both of these weapons are ricocheting weapons, where these weapons' shots will bounce off of walls in ways that you would have never even thought were possible. In this case, with the Laser Bouncer, this is one of those weapons where it can bounce off of pretty much an infinite amount of walls to the point where the laser will finally dissipate. Now, these weapons, since they are ricocheting weapons, will only really work in one specific type of range, and that is close range in very close quarters. In maps like Silent School, you will have the best possible gameplay out there because since this is a very small map with hallways all over the place, you can easily have the lasers bounce off of walls and kill people that you would have previously thought were not possible with some of the other weapons in some of the other categories in Pixel Gun 3D. As you guys can see with the special piercing shot ability, you can kill multiple people with one single shot because the laser will go basically through one player and then travel through, bounce off of any necessary walls and kill whoever else is in the path of the laser. It's a very formidable weapon and I absolutely love this laser bow. But taking out, or the laser bouncer, sorry. But taking out the laser bow here, guys, you guys can see the gameplay is just as good with this weapon. These are both weapons where you can get one-shot kills against the max armored players in Pixel Gun 3D, and that is very, very appealing. Now, the main difference with both of these weapons is not really so much of its stats, but rather the actual price and the actual gameplay of the weapons that you will achieve. Now, with both of these weapons here, you guys can see there is an obvious difference with the amount of ammo that you spawn in. Now, when you spawn in with both of these weapons here, you guys can see the Laser Bouncer has a 40 capacity, and this one has only a lowly 13. That is a pretty big difference. 13 as opposed to 40 
you will be able to use the laser bouncer a lot longer time than you would with be able to use the laser bow. And that can honestly mean a choose or not choose situation. Sometimes it's always about trying to get the weapon where you can maximize the use of it before you eventually run out of ammo. With the laser bow, it's gonna give you some amazing gameplay, but the gameplay is short and sweet. It is short-lived and you will end up running out of ammo a lot of the times before you even die in a match. Now truthfully, in the maps that you do join into, in maps like Silent School, you will die a ton. Silent School is not one of those maps in Pixel Gun 3D where you can last for a very long amount of time. I mean, as you guys can see in this video, I die a lot of times in Silent School because since this is such a close range map, it's really hard to avoid people the entire length of the match and never actually die from anyone. You will die a lot in a map like Silent School, in a map like Infected Prison, and a map like Pizzeria. So that is pretty much the fact of life here with both of these weapons. With both of these weapons, you will probably not end up going through all of your ammo before you actually die. When you do die, you will probably have about half of this in the laser bow, and I'd say about a third to a quarter in the laser bouncer. You will definitely not run out of ammo with the laser bouncer, unless you are in a very long range map and there may, is, there may be like two or three other players. If you're in a map like Parkour City and there's like one other player, well, you're probably going to be able to survive that entire time because if you're much better than them, there's pretty much no threat from anybody else. Now, with both of these weapons, you have to be very accurate when using them. You cannot miss your shots. If you miss one of your shots, whatever other weapon the other player has that you are fighting against will probably take you out. Say like this guy with the fire orb, for instance. If I miss a bunch of my shots before this guy sees who I am, well, I'm pretty much screwed because this guy has a much better weapon for some of the closest ranges out there and they will probably be able to take me out with me not being able to comprehend. Now, both of these weapons are ricocheting weapons like I had said, and I'm going to try to show you guys there is a perfect example of a ricocheting shot that you can get. And these, these are the types of weapons in Pixel Gun 3D where when you use them, you can get kills and in ways that you would have never even thought were possible. Honestly, with both of these weapons, I can easily see them being used in future trick shot videos. I said that in both of these weapon reviews, and that's the case with both of these weapons. These weapons would be perfect trick shotting weapons and some of the best ones out there for the trick shotting in Pixel Gun 3D. Even better than the sniper rifles, in my personal opinion, just because you can have it bounce off of walls and it looks a lot cooler when you're watching it on video. Now, both of these weapons have very similar stats. You guys could see that there at the very beginning of the video. The stats were not too different, and it's really difficult to do a comparison between two weapons which stats are so similar. So, you have to look at different features of the weapon, and the different feature that I would like to talk about with both of these weapons is the price of the weapons. You guys can see with both of these weapons, you will get one-shot headshots, regardless who you encounter. You're gonna get those one-shot headshots, and it doesn't really matter which weapon you use. You can use the laser bouncer, you can use the laser bow. Both of them will give you some of the best gameplay out there in Pixel Gun 3D. So, it really comes down to which one is the more affordable weapon. And when you look at the price of both of these weapons, I can't tell you the exact number, but I can tell you that the laser bow is bought with gems and the laser bouncer is bought with coins. Now there are a lot of different ways that you can get fast, easy coins in Pixel Gun 3D. In fact, I have posted several different ones on my channel and in truth, coins are a lot easier to come by in Pixel Gun 3D. It is pretty difficult to get gems without buying them in this game. In fact, it's pretty much impossible to get the amount of gems needed for this weapon unless you possibly start at level one, you level up the entirety of the possible levels that you do level up in, and even still, I think you'd probably get a little over 100 gems in total, and that really wouldn't be enough to get the laser bow. So. This is pretty much only obtainable if you do pay real money for this weapon, which is a pretty big downside with this weapon. On the other hand, the Laser Bouncer is one of those weapons which you can get completely free. And it's a little surprising because I don't really see too many people using the Laser Bouncer. After this most recent update, everybody has seemed to move over to other weapons like the Loud Piggy and the Fireball spell. And this is one of those weapons which have been dropped down by the wayside and a lot of people have forgotten about it. 
But the truth is, with a weapon like the Laser Bouncer, the gameplay is still as equally good as it was before. So definitely consider getting this weapon once again. So in all honesty, guys, my overall opinion is in this weapon comparison video is the Laser Bouncer is probably the better choice out of these two weapons. If you have watched my Laser Bow review and you have not bought the weapon yet, I honestly would say the gameplay is too similar to waste all of those gems on the Laser Bow. Now, if you have an excessive amount of gems and you just feel like using them on a specific weapon and you don't really mind the price at all, in my personal opinion, I like the laser bow better. I think the laser bow looks cooler and honestly, I feel like with the laser, it, it just feels like it's a little bit more accurate when going against enemy players. I know it's all in my imagination, but I just feel like when using the laser bow, it's just a little bit more accurate for me personally. Now, it's all different for all different players. Um, the accuracy is the same with both of these weapons, so it really is based off of feel, and honestly, the feel is pretty similar between both of these weapons. So, that is why I would recommend the Laser Bouncer over the Laser Bow. I absolutely love the Laser Bow, and it's really hard to say not to get the Laser Bow, but the truth is, it's just one of those weapons where it's really cool, it's really powerful, but it's not necessary whatsoever. And, I mean, as you guys can see here, it still is a fantastic weapon. You're gonna get those one-shot headshots, but it's just not that superior to the Laser Bouncer to the point where I would recommend paying over 200 gems just to get this weapon. I really like it, though, guys, and if you do have the necessary gems available, I'd say go right ahead and get this thing. But, if you do not, get the Laser Bouncer and you will be set with this weapon. The Laser Bouncer is a fantastic weapon, guys. One of the best ricocheting weapons out there and a weapon which you will have an absolute blast when using. I absolutely love these weapons, guys. I really do recommend getting at least one of them to have in Pixel Gun 3D. If you have neither one of these weapons, definitely get one of them because these are those weapons where it's pretty much going to give you so much different gameplay than any of the other weapons out there in Pixel Gun 3D. There are no other ricocheting weapons like these weapons unless you count a weapon like the Alien Blaster, but that's a secondary weapon and it's a little less practical compared to some of these other ones. So, in truth guys, these are pretty much your necessary weapons to have in Pixel Gun 3D. Not both, but at least have one of them. So, in this comparison, get either one you would like if you do have the necessary ones available. But, my overall opinion is, stick with the Laser Bouncer and you have a fantastic weapon with you. You can easily win matches when using both of these weapons, guys. Wins are not very common, or they, they are very commonplace when using both of these weapons. And I have gotten some of my best gameplay ever in Silent School with using weapons like the Laser Bow. Honestly, when I started off the Laser Bow review, literally three seconds into the match, I walk outside of a little hallway, and I instantly get a three-shot kill with one single shot. Or a, uh, not a three-shot kill, a three-person kill with one single shot. And that is just what happens when using this weapon. It's amazing and really, really fun to use. So that's pretty much it, guys. I don't really have much else I need to say. Just get the laser bouncer and you're good. It's a fantastic weapon, guys, and you will have some great gameplay when using it. Even though the laser bouncer looks cooler, and if I had the choice between the two, and if they were both completely free, I'd probably go with the laser bouncer. This, or the laser bow, sorry, it's a little bit difficult to keep saying the right thing every time, but uh, I would definitely re recommend the laser bouncer over the laser bow. Really soft has got to change the names up a little bit. They're so similar that it's hard to say the same thing or the right thing constantly throughout the entire length of a video. But hopefully this all made sense for you guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Hopefully this was helpful in your little choosing between both of these weapons. And that is pretty much it. I really apologize if the commentary or my voice sounds any bit different. I say this literally every other video, but um, I am sick again. I think it's because of my powerlifting team. Pretty much everybody on my team, if one person gets sick, everybody gets sick, so that's a little unfortunate, and um, my voice hurts a lot, I have a really sore throat right now, but I wanted to get a video recorded for you guys, and 
I have finally gotten this one recorded. So hopefully this was decent enough for you guys. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure to hit that like button, comment, favorite, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Pixel Gun 3D videos. I'm being absolutely obliterated by every freaking person using the Kaboom. That's one of those weapons where even when using this weapon, you're really not going to be able to be able to take all those people out. The Kaboom is one of those spamming weapons where uh, you're probably going to die from whoever the heck is using it if you miss one of your shots when using this weapon. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy this comparison video, make sure to go check out the other ones I have posted on my channel. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I did a comparison on the Exterminator versus the Alien Blaster recently. Well, not recently. Like I said, it was a while ago. But I did do a comparison between both of those weapons, and it turned out like a very good weapon comparison. I actually think it was one of the better ones I have uploaded on my channel. I do have several other ones, like I have a Snowball Gun, versus Avalanche weapon comparison video, and a lot of other ones. Also check out my other series that I have posted on my channel. I have a weapon review series where I have like 140 something weapon reviews on that. I have a random weapon gameplay series where I choose weapons like ricochet weapon gameplay or alien weapon gameplay or all those different types of gameplays like that. And I pretty much do gameplay with the weapons that fit the bill. And it's really fun. I really like that gameplay and that's pretty much my favorite series on this channel. But I really like this weapon comparison series as well and I will be doing more of these in the near future. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all right after I get a couple more kills with the laser bouncer. Can I get one last ricochet kill? I don't know if that's going to happen, but um, I can try to get a ricochet kill. It'll be a little difficult. It is hard to get those ricocheting kills purposely. You usually get them on accident, but... Uh, can I get one? Let's see if I can actually get a ricocheting kill. That'll be amazing if I actually get that. Hey, I actually got one. There we go. I'm happy with that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.